What conditions were passed on the Atlantic Charter of 1949? All of the above here, right? So isolationism was not the answer. Roosevelt had adopted some of uh, Wilson's ideas. Um, he made his own modifications to it, right? So all of the above, right? So he formed this Atlantic Treaty between Britain and it says, and these conditions were set forth, right? No territory expansion, free trade amongst seas, and disengagement of war, all right? These were the main principles passed on the Atlantic Charter, okay? Um, they wanted they wanted free trade, all right? They wanted free trade. They wanted to uh, expand the trade. At a, uh, they wanted to engage in the world market there, right? They also wanted disengagement of war. They didn't want any warfare, Okay, they wanted to remain true to this uh, Neutrality Act uh, that they signed five years prior uh, in 1937 and not engage into warfare, right? And they promised not to expand to any more territory. They didn't want any more territory to be responsible for it. It was like no more territory expansion. And these were the main principles passed on the Atlantic Charter. I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler here right so here we have here free trade amongst seas right so that's basically you know uh we're opening the doors to britain so they can come in and have trade with us right so what what possible goods do you think a country that is at war is going to need while they're going they're gonna want military you know equipment guns things like that right um, yeah, so that's a little bit of a spoiler there. <clears throat> but meanwhile, here in the, here, it says disengagement of war, you know. And so, we're trying to maintain some type of neutrality, you know. At the same time, you know, keep our pockets filled by selling weapons, 